Hey guys, here I am in my happy place. G1, grow room one down here in the basement with my beautiful, look at that thing. Oh, I cannot get over how pretty this sunbeam is. And she's gonna be going outside this year very shortly, God willing. So, here I am in the grow room, G1, down in the basement. We have our LED lights. And this week, I have some really good news and some really bad news. Which do you want first? Well, let's go with the good news first, okay? I'll show you that. Check out what's happening here. I'll show you on this sunbeam. Da, 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 da. Come on, focus. Now, if you can see the little white hair is forming, but it's official. Definitely the sunbeam, the Polaris, most of them are blooming, flowering. Polaris over here. Although not as much growth, looks like we have plenty. I don't know if you can see the tip up here. It's actually just starting. Uh, our Tahoma, I don't know. Our Supergirl, officially named by VV, is starting to actually get, come on, focus down in there. I don't know if I can get that or not. Right there. There's some little white hairs forming, which is really cool because it's in the joints. I think I'm going to get some definitely cones everywhere on these plants. I'm going to try to juice them up a little bit with some fertilizers. Even though the leaves had tons of problem with their fertilizers. This plant, I'm telling you. The tip is finally just starting to change over, which will stop the vertical growth. In this case, spiral growth. I don't know if you can see how thick it is up on top. Look at the leaves. It's a beautiful plant, but them leaves just weren't healthy. <laughs> but the new leaves look beautiful. I finally got it together with the soil and fertilization, I think. Well, we'll see if we get cones. So that's the good news. We are officially flowering down here in Grow Room 1. Check out our 2000 watt white LED. Now the bad news. Our Pacific Gem. She's a beauty. I don't know if you recall, I don't know, four or five weeks ago, I decided to clear the bottom of most of these plants. This one, the lupaloides, uh, the ones that were just getting going, I didn't bother, I let them go, but this one, I thought I saw spider mites. So I cleared, I mean, completely up, about a foot and a half, but if you look at the leaves now, literally in the past couple days, and spider mites are almost always way down on the bottom. I haven't turned over any of these leaves and looked at them because I didn't, really didn't have to. What I did was I looked, I noticed up here, and I don't know if I can zoom in and show you. Check that out. You see them little white things floating, kind of like going up and down? That's a damn spot. Spider night, spider mite web. Holy, uh, I feel like cursing a lot right now, but I'll try to keep my, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. This thing is like infested. This is how, how far it is from the lamp. Literally inches. I mean, this thing, the, the, just to show you, it's pretty cool. This plant grew up. I just kind of let it go at the end and quit training it. All the way up to the ceiling on the cable from the lamp. And all the little vines wrapped around. But way to hell up here. I first saw something I thought right in there. And then I looked at 
that. And I was like, oh my gosh. I looked at all the other plants. I barely see any signs. I mean, this smooth cone, I see a little bit on this leaf right here. It scares me. The problem is the plants are about to flower. I, I really don't want to spray anything. I mean, God forbid. Neem maybe, but uh, uh, this plant's got to go. This is just... This is like major depression. A super high when I walked in here this morning and saw some of the little white pistols starting. And then, oh, I mean, I thought, how, how do I spray this now? And here with the, uh, the best thing is try to eliminate this whole problem. But to do it and not have these spider mites spread out everywhere, uh, I'm gonna have to think on that real quick, but this thing's gotta go like, now i don't have time for this but it's a priority uh i'm worried maybe i should leave it here and let the spider mites eat it and not the other plants because they seem to really like it more than the others <laughs> but i don't think that's a good idea so executive decision i'm sorry pacific gem you kicked ass for a little while but it is a triploid so it's supposed to be seedless i was hoping maybe to try to get some seeds from it but your ass is getting chopped and going outside within a day. Guaranteed. All right, the love affair's over. Oh, yeah, I, I, I gotta have a beer or something. I'll be back. Oh, I'm so sorry, young lady. You're only a year old. You tried to kick ass for a while. I didn't want to spray you with any products. Sorry, maybe I should have. Uh, but it is what it is your ass is out of here and off to the outside hop yard i'm not going to kill you so be happy all right well folks <laughs> love affair is over i hate it every time i have to get rid of a plant or even cut a plant even when these things that they flower and i cut them down Oh, I feel sad, but I know they're coming back. And this one, I'm going to put outside. Uh, it's a triploid. Maybe I shouldn't waste the space, but um, it kind of grew pretty good here. And it does grow pretty good in Brazil, so maybe we'll try to get some seeds from it. I did get rid of our Southern Cross and our Alpha Roma, so this is another from New Zealand, all with the same mom, the smooth cone here. So she's going outside within a day or two. I'm going to figure out what we're going to do with her. In the meantime, Max Raphael here from Hops World, and welcome to vlog number 13. Sorry to be sad, but we get rid of this thing, I'm happy again. And I go outside, check on the girls, go over in uh, Hops World, check on the Triumph Twins. I'm good. Nice thing about growing hops, one or two plants go bad. The rest look good, we're cool. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is the ugly. Wow, folks, I started spraying this thing down and I noticed a couple of things now that I put water. Look at that webbing. Stretching over there. Over here too, holy cow. webbing but hopefully I'm gonna soak the hell out of these leaves on this side then on the back side I'm gonna spin this thing around and get at least these spider mites to stick to the plant suffocate a lot of them and then somehow wrap this plant I think with some saran wrap and get it out of here as you saw I cut the bottom first so the plant is officially two inches tall again. And if you watch my video on ugly leaves, this is the easiest way to get rid of a lot of ugly leaves. Just start the hell over when your plant's this bad. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna really check the other plants now. I'm scared. So let me finish this up and get this thing out of here. So after soaking heavily, I just decided to cut piece by piece and leaf by leaf 
to get rid of the hops plant. Outside she goes into the female hop yard. Hey folks, here we are with our Triumph Twins and our Zeus, of course. I'm gonna take a peek around here, up on the ladder, show you some of the cones as they are really swarming beautifully. That's a Zeus cone there. Zeus cones typically are big round, kind of fat cones. This one here. There's a few more. Let's go over here. The colors on these plants with the LED light is killer. A little one there. You can see the leaves are burning. They are real close to the light, but that's okay. There's a real pretty cone right here. That's a triumph cone. That's more typical. Definitely looks like it has a baby bump. If you notice. On the right hand side there, bumping out. That's typical of a hops cone with a seed. That's what I'm wondering. I'm so curious if these have seeds. If you haven't filed along, we actually germinated these, pollinated them, not germinated, with pollen from a wild French male hops plant. The castle guard, as it was, was found right outside an old antique castle in southeast France. So, I really couldn't resist. I don't know if I can find it. There is, ah, right here. If you notice, something missing that cone folks <laughs> dying to find out these have seeds so unfortunately i sacrificed one cone check it out here this is our triumph twins and our zeus 10 foot tall aeroponic led hops down to the ground and back up it's a jungle 600 watt led light could use a bigger light Get way down there but serve this purpose idea is get some seeds hopefully we can germinate them real quick and get them in the ground this year that's our goal all right let's go check out our buoys we said we were heading over there but i stopped here at hops world real quick and let me check out the triumph twins off to the boy hop yard well, before we go over there and check out our boys, I had to show you this cone that I picked. I Right away, before I even came down off the ladder, I tried to film it, but we were a little too far away. It didn't show up so good, so I did climb down the ladder and give a close-up. But these cones are filled with lupulin, even they're really new. I was really surprised. And if you can notice that little white bump there, I actually zoom in here. And there are seeds. Woohoo! I'm so happy. All right, off to visit our boys over to the male hop yard. Hey, folks, here we are in our male hop yard, and check out Rocky. Compared to a couple months ago when he had about three feet of snow and ice on top of him, he is looking good. I actually held up a little dirt around them. There was some roots showing. I think the, all the rain the last two or three days kind of washed the roots away. And by putting dirt around the crown, it really helps the natural compost that I added here. So we have our spaces here for three females. We're going to plant this week for sure. It's really warmed up here. It's down to about 45 degrees at night. I don't think it's going to snow again for sure. And Superboy, something that I realized going on here. We got this purple bull shoot coming out the side here. It's definitely Superboy. We have another real purple shoot here. But right here, this is actually a female that popped up from a seed that dropped last year and I let it go. It got about 10 feet tall. It didn't flower. 
But look at it. So I might dig that out and just leave Super Bowl here. I might let them both go. We'll see. But Super is coming up too. It's kind of shady over here. I need to trim some of these trees around here though. I don't know if we'll get to that this year. But our mail yard looking good. We have to tie the strings. As you can see, we still have some strings hanging here on this trellis that I made. It's actually 20 foot tall up there. Some of the neighbors think it's, uh, what do you call it, with the hangman's noose. <laughs> but a gallows, I guess they call it. It's not. It's my hops trellis. It gives shade to this deck. Oh, there's the mail yard, folks. Good morning. Here we are with our ladies. Hello, girls. Damn, did you girls wake the hell up. I'm going to show you here a picture this week. It was the day after I did the vlog. Would have been last what, Thursday. And now today. Wow. They talk about some pretty bull shoots, folks. But these are only really the second year that they popped. So, we're not going to trim them. One of our little open pollination babies. Hello, girl. It was HB 153. Now it's a new number, 2000-53. Hello, Miss Nugget. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Look, folks. I see... Downy, I believe. There's some light-colored shoots. Well, it's been raining for two, three straight days. And it's supposed to be humid and cloudy all week. So, it's going to be a good test. I've been putting nothing on these, no drench, no nothing. Last year, this year, for downy mildew. Powdery mildew or anything, for that matter. So, I suspect these may be systemic basal downy mildew shoots. For those of you who are trying to identify them, not good news for this plant. It's a Triumph versus Rocky. It was spread last year. 2001 was planted. Well, let's continue. Here's another Triumph versus Rocky that looks a lot nicer. Open pollinated still hasn't even popped from the ground. Maybe it's dead. I don't know. Another one. But we did transplant a lot of these last year. This is one of our winners, Triple Pearl. Something interesting that I noticed yesterday in the rain, and I've never seen this before, but I just suspect the wind blew it. I'm going to show you guys how this bull shoot broke open, literally, as they are hollow. I mean, it looked healthy out there now, but I think it just broke that way. I thought maybe something got inside there, a bug or something, but it doesn't look it. So I think we're okay. This is one of our little open pollinated girls. Definitely has a Neo Mexicana look to the leaves. Although when they're young, they look that way a little more. But if you notice here, this badass centennial, it's got about 20 or 30, all bullshits mostly. But, uh, you see the leaves get really fatter pretty quickly compared to the Neo Mexicano. And we did have 10 females or 10 males in here two years ago on the open pollination. And six of them were Neo Mexicano. Here's an open pollination. It looks more typical than Neo. Another one definitely looks like a fat typical leaf. See it? Which I say typical, that means humanus lupulus lupulus. 
as opposed to Humidus lupulus neo mexicanus. Started cleaning this one bed that really don't have no plants. We still haven't gotten around to clean the other beds. We did plan on going over the irrigation system this week, but this is actually the first day in four days that the sun has popped out. Here are three Comet Rockies. Check for this one here looks pretty yellowish. I don't know. But I know some of these plants, I may be wrong, were really yellow. If I recall, one of these actually named Mellow Yellow. I think it might have been this one. HB20213. I'll have to look it up. Here's a hole from our Alfa Romeo. Uh, Alfa Romeo. <laughs> Alfa Roma. No, we don't have an Alfa Romeo. Wouldn't mind having one. So down here to our EXPs, our HB20XX08 and 04. Now this looks really new in Mexicano. If you look, check out the leaves. And compared to that, not really sure what they are. Same thing with this, looks definitely a lupulus. There's two definitely different. That one's pretty kicking ass. He sucked last year. The seeds I got from my buddy, but they look okay this year. So we're going to give them one more shot. Space, see if they make it. If not, can't love them all. Another one. Here's two Comet Rockies, and they look pretty damn good. I wonder if Triumph has a problem. I want to show you something we're doing here. There's some branches lay in there if you notice these trees in the back of our hop yard there used to be a tree right here that's laying down here and all over we started burning it and it started raining three days ago four days ago but this tree's going soon this tree these pine trees I have a new neighbor and so all the shade here hopefully you see the shade now shade over here it's bad for hops. Hops like sunlight. I want these things to have sun, like the, the whole, this row and this whole row is in the shade. And it's about almost nine o'clock in the morning. These things need more sunlight. Let them grow, let them grow, let them grow. The strings should arrive any day. We actually ordered fertilizers. I'm gonna show you the test results. We're not gonna go over them too quickly, but I'm gonna just post them here. Uh, today or this week and we'll get to the irrigation system for sure because I definitely need some parts and I'm going to expand it because I'm going to put on a little trellis like I'll show you right here what I did last year with the irrigation uh, I didn't have enough pieces and that it broke during the year so I just made it work but we're going to fix that up not that it doesn't work it's just ugly and we're going to expand and put a little trellis in right over here. I decided on the side right here. And maybe some pots and plants or something. But we'll see. Oh, let's check on these. I did show these last week. It grew about a foot. This one, four plants in this one pot. I realized maybe it's three. I think it's four, though. I think that's two right there and then one there and then one over there the other one doesn't have anything might fill it with dirt and plant something might as well right but I should probably pull these out and at least pick them up and put more dirt in the pots I think this one probably has enough for one plant but anyway there's the female yard let's ah one more our bachelor duh, 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 duh. look at the pile from this tree. We started burning. This is our bonfire where we cook our marshmallows and drink our beers <laughs> in Victoria. It gets a little warmer. But Superboy here. Yeah, I can't wait to see him this year. Second year, USDA male. This is the father, grandfather of many commercial varieties if you look it up 
USDA 19058. Next week, I'll give you a list. Maybe I'll post a list right here. And this was our breeder last season. And we are going to cross it again with some others. So we get some three-way genetics because the possibilities when you cross with three or four different plants through three or two or three years really increases of the wild and crazy hops that we might hopefully get. All right, well, let's go check on the male hop yard. Thanks, girls. And you too, Superboy. Hey, hey, here we are in G2 with Victoria with our little hops babies. Look how big they're getting now, huh, V? Yeah. And VV has her magic wand, and she used her magic wand today to give our hops babies a magic spell to help them grow big and strong. All right, you want to go and look at the big hops plants in G1, V? Okay. All right, let's do it. Hi, hi guys, I'm Princess Victoria, and today we're going to get watch with the hops pants. And we don't know if this one is a girl or boy yet, so if it is a boy, we'll name it Batman, and if it's a girl, we'll name it Supergirl. Yes, folks, I explained to Victoria that we actually tried to name our lupuloid plant in the corner there. This we one. We to name it Supergirl. But that plant was actually a seed from last year. So we still don't know if it is a boy or a girl. So as she explained, if it turns out to be a boy, it's going to be Batman. Yes. It's got some cool leaves that look like bats. And if it's a girl, Wow, it's a big, huge plant, the biggest plant here in the grow room, so it is a super girl. Super strong, yeah. Uh, yes, and we're going to give water to the plants today. We can tell they're really dry as we tested the soil, but what we're going to do is we're going to add our fertilizer. Mm. Now, as I showed you earlier in our vlog, the plants are starting to flower here. Check it out. There's definitely some cones coming here. We even turned the LED lights down a little in the intensity. These 1,000 and 2,000 watt, you can actually adjust the intensity, which is cool. So we're going to add nutrients and no more nitrogen, folks. Something to always remember when your plants start flowering, no more nitrogen, V. Okay? Okay. So we'll add some fertilizer and give <gasps> it some water. Okay? Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so here is what we put in the water. You can see it's actually 01010, a bloom fertilizer, no nitrogen. We already added one tablespoon per gallon. And now we need to start mixing. So go ahead, V, mix it up. With this? Yeah, with hmm. that, right there. Good, you can put the fertilizer down. There you go. Give it a good mix. With that. There you go. Well, folks, we did a pH test on the water after we put the fertilizer. That's really important. The last thing to do, check the pH of your water and look at it. It's really red. Is red good? Mm -mm. What color is good? Yeah, yeah. Yellow. Okay, so we're going to fix it and make it yellow. Okay, folks, so we just went through and we adjusted the pH. Look what we used here. This is called pH up. It's actually something that you buy at the aquarium store or you get it online. Okay, let's see the color of the water now. Up close. Yeah. Yeah, 6.5. Air 5. Yeah. Good job. Okay, VV, now we're going to give water to the hops plants that's all got its fertilizer and the pH is checked. 
And we thank you for being with us this week. We thank you for helping us, VV, Princess Victoria. And let's give water to the plants. If you liked, put a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next week in next week's vlog. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. I'll see you next time. Cheers to life.